last few minutes. 6.50 into $5 and really good. So last year's winner is drawn out on High Street with the light blinking. Stand by for a start. Ready and racing away to the stars began very sharply in the middle Marzu and our Kobe son away well uh, followed them by I me he's going to position up fourth on the rails deep out private eye looking for a spot Lady of Camelot and Cole Crusher going underneath they're followed by Dragonstone, Mumbai Muse aft cabin, and Steffi Magnetics settles down last. Now, Private Eyes drifting right back through the field as Weight of the Stars scampers along as it loves to do. By, the, by, 200, by two lengths there at the 600. From Marzu and the favourite I and me goes to third. Our Kobe son next. Lady of Camelot wide together with Cole Crusher. Then came Mumbai Muse and they straighten up. And Weight of the Stars, a long leader by three. I and me, those cutting it down quickly on the inside of Marzu. Two for the back to Mumbai Muse, our Kobe son, Steffi Magnet, looking for room on the rails. Three across the track now. IME moved up on the inside of Marzu. Steffi's trying to squeeze through behind. IME Marzu, Steffi up the fence. IME just in front, and IME got in. Ahead on the line to Steffi Magnetica. Marzu third, then Dragonstone, Mumbai Muse, private eye wide out. A gap back to Lady of Camelot. Then our Kobe son, Weight of the Stars, got tired from Cold Crusher and Aft Cabin. Oh, what a day for the stars of our sport, whether it be Chris Waller, whether it be that man, James McDonald, or Kieran Ma. They are just totally and utterly dominating everything that's happening today. IME wins the Group 2 shorts, uh, defeats Steffi Magnetica. So many good runs in and around, but, oh, Katie, uh, your man... Uh, J-Mac gave that one an absolute treat, but she is just so honest. Yeah, well, he drew barrier too, so he was uh, always going to fall into that spot, so you can't give him too much credit there, Richo, but he is absolutely on fire, and she is a top-quality mare. She, uh, she, she puts herself on speed, but she can ride that hot speed and take a seat if she needs be, and just was really strong late, but how about the run of Steffi Magnetica? Huge and massive improvement in her, Richo. No doubting that. Uh, she was an eye-catcher. Lizzie, your top selection was around a 50 to 1 chance there in Dragonstone. And by gee, that just showed how even this race was. At one stage, uh, he loomed into it. Yeah, look, unfortunately for me, he ran fourth. But oh, anyway... I wasn't going to mention it. <laughs> anyway, it was a very good performance. But I echo exactly what Katie said. Steffi Magnetica is the eye catcher for me. She was back behind a wall of horses. He had to weave away through, and I and me makes her own luck, and that gives her the best possible chance of winning these types of races. But there she is in the yellow colours. You can see there isn't really anywhere for her to go. Mumbai Muse takes the run that Steffi wants to take. You've got Way to the Stars coming back in her lap, and she just darts through on the inside. Another bound, and I reckon she gets I and Me right on the post there. You can see she's in front, but a good performance there. I and Me, she's now two for two this preparation. She's got to be getting an Everest slot now after those two eye catching runs. Well, Emily Schultz is about to go alongside. Emily Reardon is about to go alongside. Kieran Marshall will get his thoughts. Uh, the numbers are six, three, four, and nine. Here's Kieran.